Hey, what's up guys? Today we're building an audio sound box. Those electrons are amazing. So this can play audio clips and features a really big arcade button that lights up when you press it. Those electrons are amazing. It's a pretty simple project, but it's very useful for the assistive tech community. Similar products are quite pricey, so a DIY solution is much more cost effective. Circuit Playground Express is our all-in-one board that has built-in sensors and LEDs. So it's really great for anyone who wants to learn electronics and programming. It's Circuit Python ready, so you can use the Moo Python editor to write your code. It's easy to use Adafruit's libraries and example code to quickly develop programs. You can also use the REPL serial console to quickly test your code without having to compile. To house all of the electronics, I designed a box using Autodesk Fusion 360. Most of the components will either be panel mounted or secured to built-in standoffs with machine screws. I shared the source file so anyone can download and modify my design. These parts can be 3D printed using standard PLA material. You'll need a handful of components to build this project, all of which you can get from the Adafruit shop. I started by disassembling the arcade button to see how all the parts fit together. There's a compression spring inside the stem that allows the housing to actuate the microswitch. I used the splunger tool to pry open the clear dome from the button cover. My plan is to embed the circuit playground, so we'll need to drill some holes in the housing. So I drew holes with a sharpie and used a Dremel tool to make the holes. We'll need to pass all of the wires through the button housing to connect all of the components. The outer button holder already has holes in it, so we can use them as reference. The majority of the build is wiring components together. I documented each step as a tutorial and published it in the Adafruit learning system. I needed to DIY myself a USB cable, so I wired up a micro USB connector. This will allow access to the circuit playground once it's embedded. To make audio playback a bit louder, I wired up a small audio amplifier. This speaker will give us some decent volume, so I wired it to the audio output. Then I wired up a potentiometer to the audio amplifier so we can adjust the volume. This also features a built-in on-off switch, so I hooked up a JST extension cable for the battery. Then I wired up the micro switch and TRS jack for triggering the audio. And with all the components wired up, we can work on hooking them up to the Circuit Playground Express. Next, we'll need to put the button back together and set up the box so everything lines up. Then reinstall the micro switch back onto the button. The speaker is fitted on the inside and secured to these little clips. We can then secure the audio amp with machine screws. The potentiometer is panel mounted with a washer and hex nut. This TRS jack allows you to connect any of the standard AT switches. With everything now installed, all of the wires are threaded through the top of the button. Now we can work on hooking up everything to the circuit playground. To make everything nice and neat, I wired up all the connections to the bottom of the board. This conceals all of the connections and makes it a little bit easier to embed. Then we can plug in the USB and JST connectors to the circuit playground. It's a good idea to check all of the connections before placing it onto the button. The last thing we need to wire up is the cable from the USB connector to this little breakout. Then we can mount it to the bottom cover with machine screws. We can plug in any battery to the JST extension like a AA pack or a LiPo cell. And there's plenty of room inside the box so you can either double stick or hot glue. The bottom cover can then be installed by snapping it into place. I also installed this nicely machined knob to the potentiometer so it's easy to dial in the volume. Lastly, it's up to you whether you want to cover up the circuit playground. The button cover actually diffuses the LEDs quite nicely. Either way, you'll want to reinstall the dome by pressing it down until it clicks into place. I think this is a great example for playing back audio using CircuitPython. There's quite a few sensors on the Circuit Playground, so there's a lot of room for expanding the features. I really hope this project can help the assistive tech community, so hopefully we can inspire folks by building these type of projects. Electrical current makes electricity go. Well, pleasure to meet you. Did I break something?